Hey family, welcome to Does Your Keys Times 3. My name is Kenisa. Here's Zozo with no ponytail. I was going to put a ponytail on her head, but I was like, we at the house chilling. Let the girl live. They'll understand. <laughs> and then Marley's running around, looking out the window, doing his usual barking, and he's on guard patrol. So, today, we have a fun... Marley, I'm trying to record a video. So today we have a fun video for you guys. So recently, if you watch our vlogs, we went to do the Vampire Diaries tour. And I talked a little bit in the vlog about needing a travel bag for the dogs. Like a day trip travel bag and what I needed to put in it. So in the video, I talked about showing you guys what I put in the bag. So I decided to just make a completely separate video and just show you guys if I'm taking the dogs for on a day trip like an hour or two away or something like that. Not even an hour or two away, but I'm just taking them out for the day. The essentials that I take that I feel like I need to be able to make sure that they're good and they have everything they need whenever we leave the house. So it's not too much. I know like in some of my older videos, like I would take everything but the kitchen sink in my older age and having kids for a while. Now I know what I really need and what I don't need. So I just want to share with you guys what we took. So if you're interested in seeing how to travel with your dogs on a day trip, stay tuned. Okay guys, before we get into the video, the featured shirts for today's video are, are so cute little mommy and boy combination. So the mommy shirt says, raising a little gentle pup. Of course you see the TYX3 in the corner. And the pup shirt says, little gentle pup. So, so, so cute. So cute on Marley. So yeah, this is our featured shirt for the day. If you are interested in our Mommy and Paul, our Daddy and Paul collections, definitely check us out at www.thoserkeystimes3.com and get your apparel, guys. Get your matching apparel and send us pictures. I love the pictures that we've been receiving of your dogs wearing the clothes. So, so cute. So definitely keep sending us pictures if you be purchased. All right, so recently, like I just picked this bag up. It's a cute little bag from Walmart, and I just wanted something that was little and compact that I could wear as a book bag. And one of the features that I really liked about this bag is that I could snap this right here, the top, and just hook it to their stroller. Like for my dogs, they of course you guys have seen their double stroller, and I have a stroller like a purse hook. And so I was able to just hook this right onto the stroller, no mess, no fuss, and it was just easy for me. So this is the bag I got. I just wanted something nice and little. Like I was looking for initially like a diaper bag for a baby, but those are so expensive. This was like $16 at Walmart, and I was like, this will do the trick. This is what we need. So he's very interested in what's in here. So let's get into everything that I pack. Alright, so these side pockets, while cute, they're not that that functional. It's just a picture. While cute, they're not that functional. So what I did was, it was just easy for me. You can't really fit a water bottle in here. Like, I don't know if they made it for a water bottle. Maybe they really made it just to be a cell phone pocket because I just kind of put my cell phone in this pocket like that when I was using it. So I don't know if that's the purpose of, there we go, now it's in there good. I don't know if that's the purpose of this pocket. I thought it was for a water bottle, but their water bottle definitely didn't fit. So that's, of course, one thing that I always take. And I know that in my previous video, I would mention always taking the dog's records and things like that with me. So, and I would have like that big binder. So, thank God for technology. Everything is on my phone. I have their Banfield app on my phone. So I can log into Banfield and it can show their medical records. I always, of course, do look up veterinarians in the area. Um, and I'll screenshot them and have them in my pictures. But as far as having their medical records, now that I have everything in my phone, I'm good to go. So I don't have to bring that big binder that I used to bring when I would travel with the dog. Banfield's app has definitely stepped it up a few notches. <laughs> so love the Banfield app to keep all their dog's records. So I keep all their records here, veterinary records in here. That's a must have when you're taking your dogs anywhere that's an hour or two away because if something happens, you need to know what you, you need to do, like who you need to contact, where you need to go. It shouldn't be something's happening and now I'm trying to look for a vet. This is a pro tip of mine. Alright, so 
Let's start with the small compartments. Really not too many compartments in this bag, which is fine because I'm not taking that much stuff. So initially in this small compartment, what I put in here are of course bark collars because you guys know how the dogs do. They like to bark and especially when they're out in public. And I usually, I don't put the bark collars on unless we're getting into a place where there are a lot of other dogs. Because when we're out, the dogs won't bark at people. But if they see other dogs, that's when they start to go crazy. So I can just kind of show them the collar and usually they'll calm down. And if not, I can just pop one on and I take it off as soon as we're away from dogs. I don't leave it on them the whole time. This is just in case we come into an area where there will be a lot of dogs. And they're not in a dog park if we're just like walking somewhere. I don't want them just barking and going crazy. That's the first thing. Next thing you always need whenever you leave the house with your dog is poop bags. I keep a couple of rolls of poop bags because we got to clean up after our dog's poop. God, that is vital. That is vital. It's rude to leave it. Zoe, you're going crazy. Um, so yeah, I always keep poop bags. So that's what I kept in the front pocket. So first thing out of this compartment that we're going to do is I always, always, always take wipes. Diaper wipes. I use baby diaper wipes for the dog. Whenever they go potty in the house, I wipe their butts or pee or whatever. I wipe them. So whenever we go out, I always keep baby wipes. So if they go potty or poop or whatever, I can wipe their butts. I can wipe their faces if they get something on their face. Or, you know, because sometimes Marlon will be sniffing stuff and gets a little stuff on his face. I'm able to wipe his face. I can wipe their paws. I always keep baby diaper wipes. And of course, along with that, I always keep Lysol disinfectant wipes. That is so important. Especially now with COVID running rapid and everything like that. I always like to have these wipes and these wipes. And of course, I always keep. I don't have it in here, but I always have hand sanitizer as well. So I'll keep wipes and hand sanitizers. The next thing that I always make sure I take for the dog is their water bottles. They need water, especially if we're going to be anywhere we go, even if we're not going to be outside. In case they get thirsty, I always like to just have them fresh water that I know they can drink. I know it's filtered because my dogs don't drink tap. And so I like to make sure they have some filtered water um, on hand in case they get thirsty wherever we go. It doesn't even matter if I'm just going to the store. I like to just have their water bottles so they can have that option. The next thing that I keep is I always have some sort of dog treats in here. Some sort of snack, some sort of food that I keep. So in case, you know, we're out longer than I expect or if I need to get their attention or anything like that, I always have a dog treat on me. Alright, and then typically I keep my wallet in here because if I'm carrying this bag, I'm not carrying an additional purse. So I just like to just have everything in one bag. So I'll keep my wallet, I'll keep the lotion and things like that in here. And aside from that, I will usually keep a little mini first aid kit, which I left in my car. But I'm going to do a video on um, their first aid kit, so I will mention the first aid kit that I use for their travel bag. But it's just downstairs right now, and who wants to go outside? So, but that is everything, guys. It's super, super simple. Like, I really have downgraded it to really, really, like, necessities. Like, I used to take so much stuff that I did not need. <laughs> So I've downgraded it and of course I keep their leashes in here when we're out and I'll keep their harnesses on them because I like to even if they're in the stroller um, I hook them into the stroller and sometimes I don't because they'll get tangled up I always like to have their horn harness on them in case I need to grab them by their harness or in case I need to just hook them to a leash really quick so I always keep their harnesses as well but very simple I don't really keep a lot like I said it's just very very easy to just pick this up and go it's like a little baby different bag so yeah that's what I keep in there if we're going somewhere for the day travel bag and we're good to go with this all right guys so that was everything that i use to travel on a day trip these are our day trip essentials things that we need when we are out and about for the day i will do another updated video just showing you guys what i use when i'm taking them traveling at night um so you guys can see the difference of what i take for a day trip versus what i take for a night trip so if you have any questions or any comments, definitely feel free to leave those below. If you take your dog traveling and you use different essentials, also leave those below. You can give us ideas. We can talk about it in the comments. Definitely thank you guys so, so much for watching Little Jerky Times 3. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. Oh, right on cue, Zoe. So, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.